In this video, we are diving deep into OpenAI's new 4 or image generator with a special focus on its potential for AI filmmaking and storyboarding. This model truly shines when it comes to generating multiple consistent characters and even allows creators to move the camera in 3D space, almost like directing a scene through natural conversation. It's as if you are the director and the AI is your camera operator. Foro's image generator also delivers crisp, accurate long text rendering and demonstrates a deep understanding of science, physics and real world context with remarkable attention to detail. And it has a great in-painting feature in the built-in image editor. It's a game changer for AI filmmaking, product photography and ad creation. Let's get started. I would like to start with multiple consistent characters creation and controlling the camera in 3D space. First of all, if you want to access 4 or image generation, you can do that via ChatGPT or Sora. On ChatGPT, only thing you need to do is in your prompt mention create a photo or create an image or create a cinematic photo and model will create an image for you. And on Sora homepage, you can simply switch between image and video. If you switch to image mode, you will be able to generate images with the new 4O model. The whole idea of conversational image editing is very similar to recently released Google's Gemini 2.0. In comparison to Gemini though, for os image quality is much better, image looks crisp. After generating my first character, I generated another character. I started with the same prompt, create cinematic photo of a man wearing a bathrobe, he has many tattoos and piercings. I downloaded images of my characters and attach using plus button here. And I wrote as a prompt, bring these two men to the same scene in an auto park in front of their expensive sports car looking at each other. And boom. Two of my characters together in the same scene in front of their sports car looking at each other. We can also control the camera in 3D space. For example, now show me close-up shot of character 1, man in the suit. You will realize that I am teaching the model who is character 1. And after that, I don't need to write every single time man in the suit. I can just refer to him as character 1. Now I got the close-up shot of my first character and I did the same for the close-up shot of my second character in the same scene. Now things get really interesting. Show me over the shoulder perspective of this scene. Faces look very consistent, outfits are consistent, and you have basically the same cars, black and red car, right in the scene. And later I wrote, now show me the same scene from other men's over the shoulder perspective. But I realized that model actually got confused who is who. To prevent that, I highly recommend you to specify which over the shoulder perspective you want to see for which character. So then I wrote, now show me the same scene from the over-the-shoulder perspective of man in suit and model was able to understand that and provide me this shot. In the next example, I asked model to zoom out and show me more of the scene and it gave me a nice zoom out shot that now we are able to see more and what's happening in the scene. And I asked zoom out much further and show me more of the scene and model zoom out even more which is pretty impressive. Now I ask, show me extremely low angle shot of the same scene and model gave me a low angle shot. One thing you will realize that it added this lines here, which was not part of the original image. You can see the original image here. We had single line here, but no line in between. So model, obviously it's not perfect. It makes mistakes, but still impressive. And another thing you will realize that model keep changing the aspect ratio of images. So if you want some consistency regarding aspect ratio, I would highly recommend you to specify that in your prompts. Otherwise, you will have a mix of vertical and horizontal shots. Now, things get really interesting. I ask, show me the same scene from point of view of a third person hiding in one of the cars. It was able to give me the POV shot of a third person. Here, it made a mistake that you can realize that head was blocking the mirror of the car. A minor mistake here. But what's most impressive for me is that the model is able to understand this prompt and the 3D space so successfully. Show me the same scene from bird's eye view perspective. You can just continue referring the last shot. But if you want to start from another starting point, you can always download one of the previous shots, upload it using plus button and just ask model to take that as a reference point. And this is exactly what I did. I uploaded one of the previous shots and asked the bird's eye view perspective. And boom, it gave me bird's eye view perspective. And you will realize that position of parked cars are changed. Now it looks like a triangle and they are a little bit closer to each other now. So of course model is making some mistakes occasionally. 
And one of the coolest things again that I ask, show me extreme face close-up shot of both characters in split view. And model gave me exactly what I asked for, which is pretty impressive. Another cool example I want to show you is I attach three different characters in completely different setups. You can see the close-up shots here, character one, which could be a little bit confusing for model because it's actually a reflection, character two and character three. So completely different vibes, different setups. I ask model to create a photo that shows these three people standing next to each other inside profile view. It was able to understand that. It recognized the first one, separated it from the mirror view. It didn't get confused. And it gave me side view profiles. It gave me consistent outfits of my characters. So polka dot texture of the character from the first photo and the female knight and a dude. And sky is the limit with things you can do here. In the next example, I ask model, show me how Leonardo da Vinci painted Mona Lisa, make it a cinematic photo. And here I got this impressive result. And in between my tests, unfortunately, I got many errors. So I really needed to start from scratch again and again. I re-uploaded the photo and asked, show me back shot of the scene. And it gave me back shot. Because in this example, I had a cinematic wide angle shot of Moses style scene that you can see with the waves, pretty impressive cinematic shot. And after that, I ask model to zoom in and make him turn around so I can see his face. And you can see this actually stuck. Many errors are happening at the moment, but still it was able to understand the zoom in and make him turn around. So we were able to see his face. In the next example, I had a studio portrait photo of a woman with some birds on her hair. With this, I ask, show me a close up shot. And I got the close-up shot, which is really nice. And this was a difficult prompt because I asked, show me top view at 45 degrees. And it managed to give me what I asked for. When there's a single character, it's much easier to rotate the camera and change the perspectives. This next prompt is really fun. Create a photo of an unexpected moment at a farmer's market caught perfectly in 2006. So it gave me this shot, which is pretty funny. And now things get really interesting because... We are not only controlling 3D, but actually we are controlling 4D together with time dimension as well. So show me side view of the same scene and age everyone 10 years more. So suddenly I had the side view and my character aged 10 years more, which is pretty impressive. Maybe she aged actually 15 to 20 years more, but that's not a problem. The characters on the back didn't change much. And of course, I'm happy that nothing happened to Rooster in 10 years. So this makes me happy. Another cool thing you can do that you can actually use built-in image editor of 4O. On the right corner, you will realize a brush option. Then you can select a part of an image and you can use this for in-painting. Let's say, for example, I select the Rooster here and I'm going to change the prompt, change this to a raccoon. And I'm using natural language here. I send it and it was able to change our rooster to a raccoon. Few notes here. Built-in image editor is only available on chat interface, not on Sora. It's rolled out gradually. So if you don't have this option, just be patient. You can use in-painting only in generated images for now, meaning you can't upload any image and make changes on it just yet. This next prompt is pretty usable for your AI film generations. You can say, help me storyboard a synopsis about a female scientist making some science on Sweden's terrain. And she realizes a group of reptilians. She starts running and finds a cabin. And there, a man called Olaf living alone. For this storyline, generate eight cinematic photorealistic images. You can, of course, change this to 10, 15, whatever. Keep the characters extremely consistent. Represent emotions really well. And ensure variety of shot types establishing drone shot, close up, medium shot, etc. Start all prompts with cinematic photo. When I run this, one thing I realized that it was adding some random cameras to my prompts. Some of these cameras have a very distinct visual style. And in your AI films, you don't want to have different color streams in your photos. You want a consistent style. Therefore, I would recommend you to use this prompt instead. I specifically mentioned Keep the characters, clothes, and styles of frames extremely consistent. After that, 4O started to generate frames, frame by frame, and it didn't do that automatically, so I needed to ask generate next frame. And I think this is due to the current limitations. Because of the high traffic, they put some limitations there. 
And many times while generating, I needed to wait five minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I keep generating frames for every sequence of my storyline. And it continued well until I got an error in between because of the generation limits. And I waited around two minutes before I can generate more. And after that, things get a little bit messy because it jumped to one of the last frames and it changed my character's appearance quite a lot here. So if this happens, don't get panic. All you need to do is attach your character's image again, ask generate next frame and ensure character consistency. And I got again some errors, but I was able to continue from where I left off, make Lacerta look back to the camera and she looks stressed. So here, after reminding model that how my character looked like, I got much more consistent results. So once the generation limits are a little bit more loose, I think with one prompt we will be able to generate multiple images. And this was the cool thing about Gemini, because with one prompt you can generate multiple images on Gemini. And I think this is at the moment missing on 4O side. One of the coolest things about 4O is attention to details, world and scientific understanding of the model is superb and this will be a revolution in learning i think here i ask create an image of an academically plausible empirical infographic explaining leonardo da vinci's conceptual wings and then it was able to generate a very good infographic with few errors here and there in terms of text but most of the time pretty accurate and pretty impressive after that i attached that infographic and I asked, generate a POV of a person sketching this Da Vinci Wings infographic in their notebook. And it was able to copy paste this infographic to the new scene. There are a few minor mistakes between each other, but it's still really impressive. Next thing I want to show you is how to create a Ghibli style image with your personal images. In this particular example, I edit photo of my dog Lonnie and I asked, make this a Ghibli style image. And it created this fantastic image. You will realize that how loyal it was to the structure of the image and my dog's appearance even got the yellow bandana correct, which is really nice. After that, I added Ghibli style image of Loni and a cyber jungle hoodie together. And I asked create image, make my dog wear this hoodie. Initially, I had an error due to the rate limits and I needed to wait a little bit, but after that I was able to generate this image. One of the most significant things about 4O image generation is accurate, crisp, long text rendering. For this example, I ask, design a Christmas celebration card written from the perspectives of dogs in a shelter, include photos of each dog, their names, and a humorous fact about each one to highlight their personalities. And I ended up with this funny image, Mary Wolfmas, and every dog has a photo, their names, breed, and a fun fact about them. I had some problems here with last image. Unfortunately, it got mixed up. And here you will realize some issues with the rendering the text, but most of the image is actually pretty good. 4O image generation excels at product photography. In this particular example, I attached an augmented reality glasses, which I generated some time ago with Mid Journey. And I added, create a female model who has this augmented reality glasses on, and she looks amazed. I specifically asked for 16 to 9 aspect ratio. A model was able to render the product perfectly and make a model wear it. I didn't stop there and continue pushing the model further, zoom out and show some apps floating around her peripheral view. And then it added some app icons here, which is really nice. But sky is the limit, so I ask zoom out further and turn app icons to their respective user interface for that app. Unfortunately, again, I hit the rate limit, so I got some error here. And after cooldown process, I asked model to try again. And this time it gave me this image. Again, due to error, I lost a little bit of consistency of where we left off. It's actually quite funny. So this looks like a fake YouTube user interface. This is a calendar where dates are off. We don't have a song title and artist name for our music player here. For messages, this conversation looks quite funny. So some gibberish here, that's great to hear and that's great to hear. This is the most supportive friendship ever. I need friendship like this. Of course, it's not perfect, but still really impressive. We started from a simple image of the augmented reality glasses and we almost generated an ad. In the next example, I added 
this Quadrica Vodka product photography shot and I ask, you are the world's most awarded creative director in the world's most awarded creative ad agency. I exaggerate it a little bit, to be honest. You don't need to exaggerate this much. Create an image of a great ad for Quadrica Vodka. Here, find attached an image of the product. And it was able to generate this nice ad, even came up with a nice slogan. It kept the consistency of brand and a bottle. Everything's good. After that, I ask model to use this hex code as the team color for the title text, which is pretty impressive because 4O recognizes hex color codes, which brings a completely new dimension to your creative process. And after that, I ask turn this product into a landing web page with a detailed UI design. And then I realized it started to code the whole web page. Actually, all I wanted was a simple design, which shows this is a very strong multi-model that it can understand many dimensions, not just design, but also the code. So later I asked model to, okay, just give me the design, please. You have the bottle, shop now, crafted with Arctic clarity, distilled for royalty, interesting, ice filtered, noble heritage, really cool stuff that we were able to generate a whole landing page from a simple product photo. And after that, I added some random images, this image of a bag, this cool model, and a ring and I asked create a new image based on these elements attached I just wanted to see how well model will be able to connect these elements contextually and here struggled a little bit so I have a random ring here and bag was just floating there and model was kind of just attached next to it but once I gave the context make her hold the bag and wear the ring then it got very good so it was able to understand the scene and context a little bit better it changed the ring design so okay that's a little bit off but not a big deal overall it's very impressive that it was able to then mix all of these elements together and generate this nice image and last thing i want to show you is how you can generate thumbnails using 4 image generation capabilities for this job i uploaded this draft with some notes on it so I added one character here, I wrote same character, different perspective. And in the third blog, I want same character with different perspective. I added some notes here, I wrote the text and I added, I want this part to be neon green. After that, I uploaded this to 4 all and asked, generate a 16 to 9 thumbnail exactly following the instructions in the image. Keep the character extremely consistent, make the text easily readable. And 4 all came up with this. Is pretty impressive in terms of character consistency. This two particular perspective looks a little bit similar so probably this requires a reroll and we lost the O here. Uh, it's supposed to be 4 O. That was 4 O in the text here. Despite that we lost the one letter here it's still very impressive that model is able to follow instructions and I think this can be a game changer for thumbnail design. You can just feed your thumbnail here and ask 4 O to improve the design and it will come up with some good ideas for you. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about creative intelligence, click here.